Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you export your files uh, in After Effects. And specifically what we're going to be doing is uh, this is a general render queue kind of tutorial, but it also is going to talk a little bit about uh, the file format. And that is um, in this particular one, we are going to export our files into a .mov or sometimes called a movie file. And uh, After Effects used to allow you to export into an MP4 format, and it was a video MP4. And uh, that was like the video equivalent of a JPEG. It, they came out as small files and were easily transferred to one another and um, allowed you to preview or clients to preview video format, provide feedbacks, and they uh, were typically quick exports. Uh, Adobe uh, removed that from After Effects and added it into uh, their software, Premi uh, not Premiere Pro, uh, but um, Media Encoder. Um, there are several different schools of uh, thought on the benefits um, and detractions of this. I subscribe to neither of those schools, actually. So we're just going to show you how to export it into uh, a movie format that you can still transfer pretty easily. It may not be as small as um, uh, the MP4 format, but it's still a quick way to export your files as to movie files. So, and it kind of jumps over the, the middleman of Premiere Pro. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So once I have uh, my file set up, I'm ready to export it out. I'm just gonna go to file, export, and I'm gonna add it to the render queue. And uh, there's shortcuts that you can do this uh, as well, um, but we're just gonna show you that once you do it like that, it shows up in the render queue. And the reason I'm taking you through this is because some of the settings that you see here at the bottom, uh, we wanna address those. Um, best settings is okay. You usually just kind of leave it alone. There's really only two settings that we wanna deal with here, lossless and comp one. And so, you see, as I float my mouse over them, they're links. And so I click on lossless and it's gonna open up a dialog box that allows me to change settings on it as I need to. So for example, I've got audio in this file. So I wanna make sure that my audio format is gonna come out in stereo, but I could set it to whatever I want it to be. This right here, format options. Uh, actually, let's cancel all this for a second. We're going to go with the default uh, QuickTime format. There's a, a you know few that you could use, um, but QuickTime is a common video playback. That's I say common in terms of it's usually on both Windows and uh, uh, Macs. So we're going to go to Format Options, and by default, it's going to go to Animation. What we want to change it to is Apple ProRes 422, and that's just the second one in the list. And once we have that, we can leave everything else alone. We'll click OK. And then we'll click OK. Everything else is the standards or defaults are fine for what we need to do. And then finally, uh, output two. Uh, when I click on this, this is going to do a couple of things for me. It's going to allow me to change the name of the file if I want and change the location of where it's going to be saved at. So both of these become really kind of handy if you're saving files on your desktop or if you're saving them onto a portable drive and uh, allow you to change the name based off of, I don't know, what client or what version this is. So as you can see, it's going to save it as a .movie file format. That's the uh, only file format that we have option to. I'm saving it to our file folder here for this class uh, that I'm teaching. I'm going to change the name to render Q demo. And we're going to save it. And then once everything is all set up, I'm going to click render and it's going to start spooling for me. Depending on the amount of animations that you have in it, uh, 3D effects, uh, audio files, video files, all that kind of stuff, and your processor speed, all those kind of things will factor in how fast, even the time, the amount of time uh, that your file, in this case, I say time in terms of is it 30 seconds? Is it 30 minutes. So the length of time can affect how fast or how slow this thing renders out. So um, in this case, it'll render out 
fairly average speed because uh, the file's not too big. And uh, most of the effects that we have on here, we don't have too many 3D effects. Um, and we don't have a large wave file uh, for audio. So when it gets to the end, it'll typically make a sound, letting you know that it's fine rendered. There it is. And uh, let's share to our file folder. And here's my course. And there's our movie. Now you can see from the file format because it's a .movie format. Uh, again, one of the advantages of that MP4 format uh, was that the files uh, didn't have to be that big. So this is, you know, 98.7 megabytes. So it may take it a while, as you can see, to render out. But uh, for um, purposes of this demo, that's pretty much how we uh, render and use the render queue in Adobe After Effects.